Well, Paul, lovely to see you. Uh, firstly, huge congratulations on being selected for Tokyo. And am I right in saying this is Paralympics number four? It's an unbelievable yeah. achievement. Yeah, so... So how is training going for you? How are you feeling at the moment? Uh, I'm feeling good. Training's been really good with uh, Neil Robinson and... I'm in the table tennis whale sessions, which is fantastic for the variation. And there's a lot of different types of players. So that's really good for me. And then I, I've also got training in Newport Road at Cardiff City TT, which is excellent as well. And the um, SNC sessions with Chris Klukas at the Welsh Institute of Sport, they've been going really well. And I think that's really helped me as well. So training's been as good as good as it could be do you feel you're in really good form and in good shape then going to Tokyo in terms of preparations yeah I think training's been better than it's ever been and I'm, I'm feeling physically stronger with with all the s and C I've been doing so yeah I think training's been really good and how have you coped for the last kind of 18 months or so because it's been really really strange times and but has that given you more of a focus once Tokyo was postponed the fact right I'm going to get there and I'm going to really work on my physical strength and indeed my preparation for the games um yeah it was it's been difficult but it's also been good in a way because I've played for such a long time so it gave me a bit of rest as well, a bit of time, because I'm always on the go and I'm always training. So that was good for me. And then I was well looked after because I would Paralympics table tennis had a, a robot sent to my house so I could play in my living room. I still had a strength and conditioning programme and I took my dog on lots of walks. So I, I made the most of it and I managed to still do a lot of training and improve. I guess, Paul, that takes a lot of self-motivation, doesn't it? But what was it like with the robot? I mean, that that's an interesting story in itself. I mean, what an opponent, right? <laughs> was the robot quick? <laughs> it's quite difficult because the the robot doesn't miss, so I'm playing lots of balls and it's physically very hard, but it's also good for me and it's good training. It's not it's not the same as training with an actual person, but you've got you've got to try and make the best out of a bad situation and do the best you can. I guess it, it's a really good technique to hone your skills, isn't it? Because as you mentioned, a robot will never miss a shot. No. So let's talk about, because I know I didn't realise this, but I was reading up about you and you were a really keen footballer, but you definitely was were recognised as having a really good eye for the ball. So that's kind of how you got into table tennis, wasn't it? Yeah, I've, I've been always been huge on sport. I mean, I lived for my football when I was young. But obviously, I couldn't play it anymore after I suffered the, the stroke when I was 10. And I really needed something. So, yeah, to be to get into table tennis. And then, obviously, I got that desire and hunger for table tennis, I think. But I think I always needed a, a sport to focus on. And a, a, sp a sport, sport, because sport can give you so much. So what do you feel Table Dennis has done for you, if you had to put it into words? Uh, I think Table Dennis has ch changed my life, really. I think, uh, well, I, I love the game and I love competing and I've been able to travel all around the world and I've, been able to meet loads of wonderful people and my best friends in table tennis, Will Bailey, and we get along really well. So it's given me everything, really. It's, it's, it's probably my biggest, it's the biggest thing in my life, apart from my family and my, my 
dog and things like that but it's been really big for me yeah it's opened so many doors hasn't it and here you are about to embark on your fourth Paralympics which is just an incredible achievement you must be so proud of what you've achieved over the years yeah it's it's it's, it's difficult but I've, I've I've done well in the sport and I've achieved a lot and then like two times European champion and this will be my fourth Olympics and I've won a lot or a lot of medals all over the world so yeah I am well, proud I'm just looking at all the silverware behind you. You'll have to get a new shelf soon because you've got so many trophies. Yeah. <laughs> I, I've been playing a long time. I mean, this summer, this this summer marks 20 years since I, I first my first competition, it, which was the European Championships in Frankfurt. So so it's 20 years in table tennis now. So. There, there will be a lot of medals and trophies, but I, I have some fantastic memories in that 20 years. And I, I bet. That's truly amazing. And also, when we look at Chibi para table tennis, it's quite phenomenal. I'm speaking to a lot of the players, but four from Wales. You've got you and Rob, who are the seasoned pros, the experienced guys, and then Tom and Josh, who are going to make their debut in Tokyo. Have they been leaning on you for advice of what to expect? Uh, yeah, but I've, I've told them you, you don't really know what to expect and, and it's not like anything you've ever played in before. And I've told them that the most important thing is they to do is to go out and enjoy it and try and soak up every experience and make the most of it and just try their best. And what makes you so hungry, Paul? 20 years is such an unbelievable time for a career. Are you as excited about Tokyo as you were back in the days when you went to Beijing, when you made your debut at the Paralympics? Yeah, I think um, mostly it's the love of the sport and the enjoyment of it for me. And I still enjoy it. I still, still love to train and I still love to compete. And I think that's really important. And I think that's been a major factor in my longevity in the sport. And at this point now, where you're due to fly to Japan very soon, is it just honing the skills? Because it's final preparations for you now, isn't it? Yeah. Well, we've done all the hard work now. We've trained really hard. Now, still, still putting in quite a few hours, but mostly it's just like the feel good stuff and the stuff I'm good at and keeping my eye in and keeping the rhythm and just trying to enjoy it really. And getting ready to board that plane. Are you looking forward to experiencing Japan and indeed the hospitality from the Japanese people? Yeah, I'm very, very excited. I've never never been to Japan before. So so it's very exciting for me. And, and from what I've seen from the Olympics and from what I've seen over the years, it looks a, a really fantastic country. And I think it will be a great experience to travel to Japan. Well, I know you're in the form of your life. It's a phenomenal career. We're so proud of you at Disability Sport Wales. We'll be rooting for you. We wish you all the best. Enjoy your fourth Paralympics and take good care and stay safe. And thank you for joining me today. Thank you very much.